it's Wednesday. Um, so we are going to carry on with our learning objective for the week, which is multiplying fractions by integers. We now know what integers mean. We now know how to multiply fractions by integers. So we are going to start with four questions for a warm up. Now, these four questions were on your home learning task sheet today. They were three quarters times nine, one third times eight, seven fifths times five and six tenths times six. So I'm going to go through the answers to those first four questions to see how well you've got on with those. So if you haven't done those yet, pause. Pause the video. Pause it. Answer the questions. Then press play and see if you've got the answers right. I'm about to go through the first four questions. Make sure you have answered them already. Don't cheat. Have a go. Okey dokey. So you should have four answers already to these four questions. I'm just going to go through the answers really quickly. Three quarters times nine three quarters multiplied by nine you could say it's nine lots of three quarters you could say it's three quarters add three quarters add three quarters nine times the first thing i want you to remember denominator stays the same we are still dealing with quarters and then we have three quarters nine times we have nine lots of three which is 27 so your answer should be 27 quarters if that's all you've written that is correct if you have had a go at turning that into a mixed number, well done. How many fours go into 27? 27 divided by 4 is 6 whole with 1 quarter remaining. That is also the correct answer. And for those of you who are enjoying the decimal challenge, the answer is 6.25. Okay, next one. One third times 8. Our denominator stays the same we have one third eight times which means we have one times eight which is eight so we have the answer of eight third that is correct if you have extended that further well done we have eight divided by three three six which is two and there's two thirds left over and the decimal equivalent is 2.66 recurring Okay, 7 fifths times or multiply by the integer of 5. Denominator stays the same. We have 7 fifths 5 times. 7 times 5 is 35. To turn that into a mixed number, we need to do 35 divided by 5, which is 7. There is no decimal equivalent except 7.0. Okay, and the last question is 6 tenths times 6. Denominator stays the same. We are multiplying our numerator by our integer, which is 36. That, as a mixed number, is 3 whole and 6 tenths, which is 3.6 or 3.60. How did you get on? 1, 2, 3 or 4 out of 4? Hopefully, you were able to have a go at those. So, that was our warm-up. We're now going to move on to our next task. Right, so your next question was, what is 3 fifteenths multiplied by 4? This was shown in an image using circles. So, if you can refer back to that, then it will show you four circles because that's our integer, and in each circle there were 15 segments and 3 shaded in. And the question was, how many 15ths were shaded in? So the answer was, say it, can't hear you, shout it out, what was it? The answer was 12 15ths. Now, if you wrote that down, that is perfectly correct, and you're getting the hang of this really well, so well done. If Your next question showed this image and it was asking what the calculation showed. So for this one, you need to look at how many parts your whole has been divided into. So we can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So our denominator is seven. 
how many has been shaded in each whole rectangle one two parts so this rectangle shows two sevenths this rectangle shows two sevenths and this rectangle shows two sevenths now what is the calculation showing it's shown that this is repeated three times so you could say we have this calculation which is repeated addition you have two sevenths add two sevenths add two sevenths but we are multiplying fractions by integers this week so we are going to write that it shows two sevenths multiplied by three that is the calculation that i hope that you reach today and then i'd like you to try and answer that question if you haven't done it already do it now or pause the video because we'll want you to try and work as independently as you possibly can the answer is six sevenths okay because if i was to take these two and cut them in on this rectangle instead and if i was to take these two and cut out these two parts in instead i still have the same number of parts shaded but this time i've shaded them all on the same rectangle and you can count that i have shaded in six sevenths so that was the answer we were looking for Your next question said, Mr. Munro says that this shows three ninths times four. Do you agree? Why and why not? Now, for this question, we are going to try and explain our answer using our reasoning skills. And you can do this either by verbally saying it out loud or by writing it down. Does this diagram show three ninths times four? Do you agree or do you disagree? Now, let's have a look do we have four rectangles like our integer one two three no we don't do we have three ninths in each image one two three out of nine so this shows three ninths this diagram shows three ninths but this diagram doesn't show three ninths does it, it shows four four ninths therefore i'm going to disagree so I want you to have a go at either writing an answer like this down and this is where you can pause the video and fill in the blanks or you can have a go at saying something similar out loud. I agree or disagree because three ninths times four is blank which is equivalent to and that's where I want you to turn that into a mixed number and I want you to tell me if that is the same as what this image is showing. Okay, so I'm now going to answer the question. Hopefully you've got an answer ready because you've paused it and had a go at filling in the blanks. I am going to say that I disagree because 3 ninths times 4 is 12 ninths. And this is equivalent to 1 whole and 3 ninths. Now this diagram shows 1 two three four five six seven eight nine ten ninths this diagram shows ten ninths which is equivalent to one whole and one ninth and let's just show that by moving some of our yellow blocks to the top rectangle so if i was to take these three rectangles these three parts of our rectangle sorry and we move them to here and if i was to take one two three one two three parts from this rectangle and add them here i have one whole rectangle and one ninth now this is not equivalent to three ninths times four which is 12 ninths which is one whole and three ninths. So this is reason, this is proof, this is evidence. We know what we're talking about because we've explained our answer. So well done if you had something similar to my answer. 
Okay guys, I am back. So your next task was to show what 1 6th times 5 could look like. Now I've got four different ways here, all of which are correct. The first way you could show what 1 6th times 5 could look like is you could draw a rectangle. You could divide that rectangle into six equal parts and you could colour in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of those sixths. So the answer is 5 sixths, and you could show that by drawing something like this. Or another way is you could draw five rectangles all split into sixths, and you could colour in one sixth on each rectangle. So we've got one sixth here, and we've done that five times because we're multiplying by five. If you've shown something like this, that is also correct. That is also showing one sixth times five is five six. You could also do that on a circle. You could split a circle into sixths and you could colour in five of those pieces. You could also show me using repeated addition. We're not dealing with addition today, but it's a good way of showing that you recognise that this is the same as this. So there are some answers that are all correct. If you've done it a different way, you can always email us a photo to see if you're right. But that was one of the ideas. Any of these is what we were looking for. Right, this one was a little bit more tricky. So I'm going to be super impressed if you get this one right. Remember, ideally, I want you to be watching this after you've had a go. So I want you to have a go at answering the question first and then watch this video to see if you got it right. So if you haven't answered this question yet, just put me on pause and then press play when you're ready. The next question was 2 sixths multiplied by 3. So there's different ways that you can show this. You could show this using repeated addition to show that you are adding 2 sixths 3 times. You could show in a circle, which has been divided into sixths, and you could colour in 2 sixths and then do that three times so that's one two and then three times oh look the whole circle has been shaded which means i have colored in six six so that is our answer the nominator stays the same two six multiplied by three is six six you could show this in a rectangle i've gone for horizontal lines this time you could color in two six and then do that, that's one, this would be two, and this would be the third time. So we could colour in two six again, that's twice, and then colour in two six again, and that is six six. Another way of writing six six is, well done, one whole. Another way you could show this is by drawing three different rectangles or squares or circles and dividing them into six and colouring two sixths on each shape. So this is actually the same as colouring in all the sixths on one shape. So this shows that you have coloured in two sixths and you have done that on three different shapes. So there are some different ways that you could show the answer, but if you got six sixths or one, or as a percentage, what is one whole as a percentage? 100%. Well done, keep going. Well done guys, we're getting this far. I hope that you have been able to access some of that learning today. Um, last question. Would you rather have 9 fifteenths times four of my chocolate? Or would you rather have seven fifteenths, which is a smaller amount, but six lots? So, you're very lucky because normally I never share my chocolate with anyone. Uh, uh, but today, you have an opportunity to share a fraction of this chocolate. Now, you can either go for the nine fifteenths times four option, which means you get a larger amount four times. Or 7 fifteenths times 6, which means you get a lesser amount, but you get 6 lots of that rather than 4. 
So what I'm going to need you to do to answer this question is you need to do 9 15 times 4 as one calculation, 7 15 times 6 as a separate calculation, and then see which is the greatest answer. And then I want you to go onto the WordPress website and see if you are right. Because I'm not going to tell you the answer because I'm going to be busy eating as much chocolate as I can before you get the answer right. 